Hi there. Don't question why my arms look like this. I just wanted to switch up my look. French fries. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back a block of orc. We are here back in Star Suburbia and this will probably be the last, I mean, this will probably be the last time you'll ever see Star Suburbia. Maybe, maybe I'll revisit it again, but I shall be building another starter home here and I want it to be silly. We're making it bread themed. We're making a bread house bread starter house and i kind of want to get back into building strange things like the weird stuff because i used to have a series called like uh the blockberg strange builds where i build the dumbest the weirdest the strangest the stupidest things today we're doing a um bread starter home i think i'm gonna make it two stories just to i don't know make it more fun and we have been doing a lot of one story houses lately so far we have one two three four five five we have basically five one story houses and there's only two two-story homes. Of course, with starter homes, I didn't want to like try and build too many two-story homes because what if you don't have the multiple floors game pass, but this house shall make it with multiple floors and who knows? Some people who are new to the game, some of them will probably buy a game pass and they'll probably want to build a nice two-story starter house. All right, the last home ever in this uh, little neighborhood just might be a smaller version of my actual bread house that I built. So what we're gonna do is basically just build a long rectangle and this one's gonna be about this long. Uh, make sure it's an even number of squares because um, that's gonna be very helpful for the roof later. I wanna also build a garage for this as well. So we'll probably just build like a simple, maybe just a two square, yeah. So it's gonna be two stories. I'm gonna build another one on top of this. So now that we have our shape pretty much done, <laughs> it's pretty much complete. Um, I'm probably gonna add something right here too, but let's go and start building the bread shape, like the loaf of the house. So we're gonna use this curved roof next and we're going to put this on top we're going to start with just covering two squares of it and just kind of like messing around with the roof you can kind of rescale it resize it however you wish um, but we're making that signature bread loaf top look think i might do something like this so once again just grab two squares wide and then just kind of place it i believe that's that's a bread shape. All right and then i'm going to do the exact same thing for our little garage here as well except this time we're just doing it one we're doing one instead, like so. Okay, I don't know about that. I think it'll look a lot better when we color and texture and stuff, but this is pretty much what we have going on. I wanna grab the slanted roof now. I think we're going to that here. I don't want too much overhang, just a simple slanted roof there. Dang, maybe I'm gonna redo this, one moment. Let me redo the roof for this. I wanna make it a little bit lower. Oh, okay, I don't know yet. Okay, let's just color it, let's just color it. Let's just go and get the colors out of the way. So I think we're gonna use medium brown for the top piece of the bread. And then for the other part, we'll just make it a nice, maybe khaki or wheat. Oh, wheat, wheat color. That'd be perfect for the house. And then the sides of the bread, obviously, we'll make that the dark brown as well. Is it dark brown? Medium brown, the medium brown, my bad. I miss doing weird builds like this. I can already tell this is looking a lot better for some reason than what I've already built in the past. I can already tell you that, I think. <gasps> oh, I could instead just do a slanter roof there. I don't have to make that small part like bread loaf opt either i could just do this oh <gasps> there we go wait we'll figure out some solutions if needed we can just do that a little bit less fun but i think yeah i think this would be better though um i think i might use some structurals for this okay this is not too starter friendly but it's <laughs> advanced placement and uh you don't have to do this you don't have to do what i'm doing here this is just an upgraded <laughs> version again i just want to add a little bit of detailing just a tiny bit actually let me put the stairs down first i think we'll just put the stairs like right here and then we can have the kitchen underneath the stairs so it's gonna be like a loft i guess like a house a starter house with a loft maybe a living room here kitchen uh, maybe a guest bathroom like right here of some sort actually no that won't work could put a bathroom back here but at the same time nah. no 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 we're not doing that We'll make it work out somehow. Okay, and then the bathroom can be the bathroom can be a two by two I guess like that and then the bedroom can be here. You could have like a tiny office space there All right, I think our house layout is pretty much set. This is a really simple house today It actually is one of the more simple homes i'm building. Um, i'm gonna keep it kind of cheap still I mean this house I believe is still pretty cheap like walls are cheap stairs. All right, the door is a decent amount um so let's do a front door i guess right there i think that will look fine yeah and then we can add some windows to each side of this yeah we could do that and then we can have like a big window like right here just a centerpiece type of window centerpiece yeah i guess centerpiece <laughs> it looks like a butt hold on let me just um i don't know i've been making a lot of changes lately 
I'm making a lot of changes to this house. I'm sorry. Honestly, that does look more like bread, like a, like a white bread or something, you know? I think we're good. All right, I think I'm done with my changes. There we go. That looks cute, right? It's a bit cute. Why did I do this? Why did I? Okay, like I said, do your layout first and then... Yeah, floor up everything else. Decorate the house. Yay, it's finally time to decorate. I'm so excited. <laughs> Where shall I put my oven? I'll put the oven there. I can put the fridge here. A little nice. Okay. I don't know if I want to do islands. Do I want to do an island? I'm very tempted to do an island, guys. A shaker island. Take this. Oh. oh. What in the world? Okay. You ever just have that problem where you accidentally place like two of them? Like your hand just like, oh, we're putting two down. <laughs> it's kind of, it reminds me a little bit like an apartment. It could be like an apartment. Like, I mean, this is a loft after all. Most lofts can be apartment like and chairs down. I think I'm going to use the simplicity stools just to keep it cheaper, simple. Oh, I also wanted to add pillars like right here because the loft needs a bit of support as well, I feel. So it'd be nice to put like pillars. All right, and then we shall work on the living room now. Let's do that. Let's get a TV stand. I feel like this has been my favorite TV stand lately. I don't know why. I just kind of like the shape of it. The decisions. Ah, the decisions. Okay, we'll see how it goes. It may look a bit awkward, actually. And I think I like this better. Maybe I'll like this. Yeah. Another sofa and then Ottoman footrest going. And this area will still kind of be open. You can, If I were to put the couch here... If I were to put a couch this way, it would be kind of maybe a bit cramped to like walk through. I don't know. Would it be? I don't know. But I feel like it'd be better if you're walking realistically through the house, you could just still pass by like this through the through the kitchen. That will flow a little bit more naturally or better. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. I don't know about this one either. Uh, I could do that. Sure. Maybe like an L-shaped bench. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay. <gasps> Look, we're already filling up this house really nicely. I feel like this is going great. And then I'm gonna need one that goes near the front door but we have to put it up here and then lower it down a bit as yeah we don't want it floating It'd be good maybe a little bit <laughs> this is so funny like how long this light is for how small it is like how tiny like this long long line this long rope just for this tiny lamp tiny light okay i'm gonna do the recoloring later don't worry this is all default color right now but i'm gonna make it look better now we're gonna go to the loft this is a fun one um i think we're simply just gonna put a nice little double bed uh just Modern double bed is fine. I mean, it still fits the bed. I know it's meant for like the kids. It's called the kids nightstand, but these still could work for this bed. So I think I'll just do that. Maybe I can use these ones. Yeah, it looks like a jellyfish. Looks like a jellyfish. So there you go. You get your beach vibes from that. <laughs> Toilet here. We have a nice simple shower there. Just typical two by two bathroom. A layout. I don't think I can do anything else with this layout. So we're just once again hoping for fu more like future like different types of toilets and different showers and tubs one day we get like a bathroom update because variety is always welcome i would love a variety of things even more beds you know we still can use some more beds at least different styles i love how cheap the carpets are it's like my favorite thing ever maybe a bean bag i'm gonna put the bean bag in the corner and adults use these or like teens or kids whatever right i think i can still use that. all right i'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of the inside later let's see how we shall go about landscaping of this i think it should be easy to landscape not much really honestly not much going on cute this is so cute garden maybe some rocks flowers just kind of mix it up everywhere one rock there maybe i'll have another rock here rock for each tree maybe some hanging plants oh hanging plants would be perfect i need hanging plants Aren't lilies like poisonous to a certain animal? Like something like that. I think I remember that from somewhere, but okay, that's cute. Imagine I put a vine. What if I put the vine somewhere on here? Add a bit of a nature aesthetic to it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> what have I done? I need a pillar here. Hello, can you go through? The stupid vines are in the way. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you stupid, but that was kind of dumb. Not bad, wow, okay. You you go, PETA, wow, yeah. <laughs> All right, I quit. I, I'm I'm over it. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. I'm finished. All right. I think I've, I've, I did it, guys. Our last ever home here in Star Suburbia. Honestly, I could add maybe some more houses. Like, I could get rid of this water and put a couple more houses this way. But at the same time, I think I'm pretty much done with Star Suburbia. It was just... A plain street full of um, starter houses. So here we are with my newest creation, the bread starter home. 
which I don't think costs it too much. I think it's around 30, 40 K as well, which is, uh, you know, apparently there are starter houses in the, the pre-made homes that do cost a lot more than this. So, um, if you have like a good 30, 40 K, maybe even 20, um, you can still create this house for sure. You can still create it even for cheaper. If you don't use the expensive items, if you use cheap items, you can still manage to furnish and stuff too. But here we are. It is the bread starter home. It is very cute, and here is a 360 of it. Yeah, there's the home. Very cute. All right, let's go and go inside. Actually, this is the garage. I don't do anything with the garages. Um, I don't really find them too special unless there was like a garage furniture update. That's wrong. That's incorrect. You can still decorate your garages, but I choose not to de decorate mine that much. But here's a garage, and then if we go over here, we've got the house. So it's a pretty simple layout. You run into your living room here, and you can still go to your kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty much down. I mean, that's pretty much down here. You've got like a you know seating area where you put your shoes on and stuff. And then if we go upstairs, this is the loft, the lofted bedroom. So your typical bed. Watch TV here. Can I sit here? Yeah, of course I can. Why couldn't I? I love that beanbag chair. That's, yeah, it is all very simple. Oh, I should have put post pictures and stuff here. Um, office setup right here as well if you want to work on things. And then here is a bathroom, which is my typical 2x2 two two layout. Uh, nothing too special with it, but it works. So yeah, that is my bread quote unquote starter house. I feel like in a way to call things a starter house, you don't necessarily have to be like game pass less. I mean, it would be ideal for the house to be no game pass. But at the same time, there are those people who start up the game who do who can buy game passes, you know, right away and they still want to have like a decent starter house to live in like even if it's two stories they'll probably you know yeah they'll have a two-story house but it's not too expensive i think my definition of a starter house is something that is not too expensive and i still consider this a starter house so yeah i think it turned out pretty pretty well and cute and simple but yeah anyway guys that will basically wrap up today's video if you guys enjoyed it you found it inspiring in any way make sure to give it a big old thumbs up if you want <laughs> and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free thank you all for taking the time ready to watch this and i will see you all in the next video have a great day peter bread signing out goodbye everybody wow what a cute bread house i haven't built anything strange in a while let me know in the comments what other strange things i should build next i love hearing what you guys have to say yes i love reading what you guys have to say yeah <laughs>